If you've been on the internet for a while, you may be familiar with a game series called Princess Maker, brought to us by Gyanax, known for shows like Neon Genesis Evangelion and Panty and Stalking with Garterbelt. Princess Maker is a social raising simulation game where you raise your daughter from childhood to adulthood. How she turns out as an adult is completely up to how you raise her. There are about six games in the mainline series, which ran from 1991 to 2007, along with some spin-off games and a TV anime. But today we're going to be specifically discussing Princess Maker 2 because it has a second remaster coming out. Hey there, sleepyheads, I'm Pajama Ken. If you're new here, welcome, and if you're a returning viewer, let me know how your day is going. So today, we are going to go over the game Princess Maker 2 in preparation for the upcoming Princess Maker 2 Regeneration release. Princess Maker 2 was developed by Gainax in 1993 for the Japanese computer PC-98, and then later ported to other computers and game consoles. An English translation was officially created, but never released, and leaked online for MS-DOS. In Princess Maker 2, you take on the role of a warrior who defeated Satan, basically, and saved a kingdom. As thanks, you receive a yearly salary from the palace. One night, a god, determined by the birthday of your daughter, grants you a little girl from the stars to raise. The gameplay loop of Princess Maker 2 is very similar to Tomodachi. You have to feed your daughter and schedule activities for her to do, such as going to school, going to work, or even going out on an adventure. How you raise her will have an effect on her personality when she gets older and what type of woman she becomes. There are 74 different endings in total, so plenty of replay value. Princess Maker 2 is the most popular in the series, but also the most controversial, with subsequent re-releases receiving censorship. Yeah, there is some kind of icky things in the original game. And if you want to know more, I have a link to an awesome video by Tamahiro that goes over all of that. The first time English speakers would see an official release is with the release of Princess Maker 2 Refine on Steam in 2016, which I believe is based off of the Dreamcast release, which had updated graphics and music. The translation was handled by Korean company CFK and is censored in some areas. The translation is known to be passable at best, especially in comparison to the Soft Egg translation. Sometime in 2021, a company called Blissbrain acquired the publishing rights to the Princess Maker franchise, and in August of 2023, they announced Princess Maker 2 Regeneration in celebration for the 30th anniversary of Princess Maker 2. Regeneration will be based off of the refined edition of Princess Maker 2, with artwork redrawn by original artist and designer for the game, Takami Akai, to fit more in with the style of the original 1993 release. A message from Takami reads, I am deeply grateful to see that Princess Maker 2, which came out 30 years ago, is still so beloved by so many fans that we can release a new version. This time, I was finally able to redo the graphics, which I had always wanted to do. Please enjoy the newly redrawn vacations and endings. Aside from the statue of your daughter being constantly shown on the right and the redrawn artwork, it is unknown if any other changes will occur. I would assume the censorship from Refine will stay in place since the game is based off of that release. Princess Maker 2 Regeneration is scheduled to come to Nintendo Switch, PS4, PS5, and Steam on December 21st, 2023 for around $30. So let me know in the comments, are you a fan of the Princess Maker series and will you be picking up Princess Maker 2 Regeneration? Until next time, good night sleepyheads.